video, I'm gonna show you how I came up with this colorful look. As much as I like natural day-to-day -day makeup, I love color so much. And I have a lot of looks that I've sketched. I'm planning to put them all into life before I go and start with natural makeup glam looks. So if you guys want to play with makeup and if this look inspires you and you think that you can wear this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Hello once again, little duck. I've already done my brows and set my eyes. But the palette we're gonna be using today is the Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette. So I'm gonna dip in my brush into this black color over here, which is the Black Magic. I'm gonna use a flat brush and I just place the color on the tip of the brush so I can make a very thin line over here. I'm gonna do it on a semi slanting position. <laughs> I don't want the black to be very dark because um, you will see later that I want the green and the yellow color to pop out more but this is just to give the green a warm tone. This will be the first color I'm going to place and then I'm going to go back to the first palette we've used. This one, 35 Embossed Mood and I'm going to use this color for the second color and then third color will be this one. If it doesn't look like the way you desire it to look like, the beginning because we're gonna blend it later so it will look nice. So I'm going back to the previous green color that we used so I can blend it nicely. You know this color over here. So I'll just place it over where it is. So blend with the black and with the second color which is this one. Now we're gonna do our blending and we're gonna place the third shade of green. This shade of green is the lightest of all the greens, so it's close to lime green and it's a bit yellowish. And I'm gonna use this shade. See, it's like a neon dark pink. The name of the shade is a very good. It's so neon. I don't know, for me it's neon. It looks neon for me. I'm gonna place this color. This is like lavender with a pinkish tone. It's a um, glittery metallic shade. So I'm just gonna place that over here. There. Now I'm gonna place my foundation, the same foundation I've always been using, this Maybelline 220. Taking my foundation on the areas where I need to place my concealer. It's so beautiful. It's 
Since I've run out of concealer, I'll just take it over here. So it's like reddish brown this color. When I run out of this, I might try the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, or maybe maybe Morphe. Beach. So I'm gonna use the one right here, the Driven. This is the same color with this one, but this one has gold dust on it. I'm gonna use this. Stellar Impact. I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is the ultraviolet. Like what I always do, I'll just tap it with my blush on brush just to even it out. very dark because my eyes are already very loud so I'll just keep this soft nude color on my lips just to balance it out not too loud mm -hmm. all right so now I'm gonna place color over here I'm just gonna use browns and light orange Using my Morphe 35M Fossil Wood Palette, I'm gonna use three colors for my lid. 
this will be the first color then this one and then the last one will be this one a bit of orange the orange color the third one Lashes in natural. Okay. So once again, you can purchase this from my website. It's www.aspiretoinspireinza.com. Now I'm going to place my eyeliner over here for my lid. And I'm going to use this Maybelline Gel Tattoo Liner. So this color is like a brownish orange. Right? And then... This And then I'm gonna add a highlight over here. I'm just gonna use this one, the Big Bang. So